everybody and thanks for clicking on this video. Today what we're going to do is just quickly go through how to potentially downgrade a Polycom Real Presence Trio uh, if for any reason you, uh, you wish to do so, maybe to uh, show some of the differences between one feature or one version of fun um, firmware and the next. Basically all we need in order to be able to do it is a PC and a USB stick for back to the FAT32. So, uh, currently what we need to do is establish what version of software we're currently on at the moment. So we're going to go into settings, we're going to go into status, platform, application, main. What we find under here is we can now see that we're currently running version 5.4.4 um, and then the sub revision. So now we know what version we're on, maybe we want to go to 5.4.3. So we're going to take this device and uh, leave it here for the moment and we're just going to flick across to my PC. So here's the PC. I'm just going to install that USB stick that we just had from a moment ago into the PC. And then what I'm also going to do is just go to Edge here, open it up, and I'm going to go to support.polycom.com. Here we go. So this is support.polycom.com. All I want to do is go to the documents, voice. That will then come up. I'm going to do the support notice, so we're just going to close that. And then what we're going to do is just quickly scroll down until we find the Polycom Real Presence Trio. Click on the Real Presence Trio. And that will then bring up the page with all of the relevant versions of software. So as you go down here, what you'll notice is we've got 5.4.4, etc, etc, etc. And then we've got 5.4.3, Rev AE. So what I would do is I click on here to download this, accept the end user license agreement, and that will begin to download. So there we go, so that's going to continue downloading. Now what we also have is that uh, whilst that's downloading, what I also need to do is just go to my USB stick, which is here, I'm just going to right click on this, properties, and then I want to, sorry, not properties, right click, um, format, and then I'm going to select FAT32. And everything else can stay pretty much the same. Just got to ensure it's a FAT32 USB stick. So I click start on that, prompt me to say that I'm um, doing that. And then the format is now complete, and that stick is now ready to use. So what we can do um, is if I go to my downloads now, I actually already have under here a uh, previous version that I've already downloaded. If I double click on this, these are the standard default files that come in the uh, uh, software release version. Now what I can do is take this and I'm just going to drag and drop this onto my USB drive. That's going to copy that over, which will just take a moment. Okay, so here we're getting to the end of our copying of the files over. And now we can start moving across to the actual scene on the trio itself. So here we have our Real Presence trio. It's now ready to be reset. So what we're going to do, first thing, is we're going to take a USB stick and we're going to plug that inside. Just like so. so what we're going to do, if I just zoom out this bit, now shows me that storage media is attached. What I'm actually going to do is just turn the device over, disconnect the power connection or network connection, count to five, one, two, three, four, five, place that back in, flip the device back over. Now what we're going to do is wait until the device starts to boot. As the device starts to boot and the Polycom logo appears, what we're going to try and do is put our four, four fingers in the corners of the screen like so. As we do that, we'll now see that the mic lights are going and we can now release the uh, um, trio. That now means that the factory default uh, is going to occur and it's going to format the disk. What we'll notice if I zoom in on this, attempt to just line it up, is that as the device formats it'll identify that it's formatting data and cache and then once it gets to a certain point it will then say that it's restoring file system and config. Now what it'll do is it'll actually pull this now off the USB stick rather than pulling it off the internal system 
and it will take, here we go, the image download, and it's actually going to take the 5.4.3 off the USB stick rather than the 5.4.4 image that is currently loaded on it at the moment. So it's currently going to go true and complete, and then we should see that in a moment just rebooting once it's taken it, extracted it, and installed it. So we'll just let it go through this for the moment. Okay, so now we see that the device has come back up, and because there were other provisioning files on the uh, the USB stick, what it's actually doing now is it's saying that um, uh, it's ready to take the USB provisioning uh, files or the, the provisioning files off the USB but at the moment we don't actually need that so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the USB stick out and that will take us back to the uh, end user license agreement so now we've got the um, classic interface if I go into the settings now and I go to status platform application main I can now see it's on 5.4.3 uh, on there rather than the 5.4.4 that we had earlier. So that essentially is how to downgrade a Real Presence Trio. If you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you very much. Have a good day.